So, without further ado, um, again, warm welcome, and I would uh, now invite uh, the video of uh, uh, Kostas Skrekas, the Greek Minister for Environment and Energy, who will uh, talk to us um, via video. Thank you very much. Dear representatives of the European Commission, mayors, academics, island communities and stakeholders, this forum signifies that the green transition can transform our islands into innovation leaders reshaping location challenges into sustainable growth opportunities. Since the Valletta Declaration, we have achieved a lot exchanging expertise, deploying pilots and exploiting European platforms. I would like to share with you some insights of our government's island decarbonization policies, which fully inspect their unique beauty, identity and ecosystems. One of our key principles was to promote partnerships with private entities. Effectively, we introduced the concept of adapting an island over its green transition. Hence, Astipalea is turning into a world-class example with 80% renewables and carbon-free transportation. From uh, Halki, which you are going to visit, we initiated our Greco Islands Initiative, focusing on renewables and storage, energy efficiency, sustainable water and waste management, greening of ports and transportation, sustainable tourism and agriculture, green hydrogen. With 100 million euro initial funding, we currently prioritize interventions on small isolated islands. Tilos, a global pioneer, has evolved in secular economy, achieving a record level 85% recycling via a zero waste initiative. We are deploying hybrid power stations, combining renewables with batteries via an auction scheme adjusted to island features. We set up the island's decarbonization farm with a budget of more than 1.5 billion. We expect to mobilize 4 billion euro and eliminate 10 million tons of CO2. We invest 4 billion euro on island interconnections, integrating new renewables. We deploy 2 gigawatt offshore wind by 2030, fully respecting biodiversity. Several projects are supported through the European Island Secretariat, including ferry electrification, green and smart marinas, renewable diesel, behind the meter batteries, vehicle to green, sustainable drinking water, biogas production. Our hydrogen strategy includes a hydrogen island as well. As I outlined, the green transition can convert our islands to inspiring innovation labs and tapping their huge green potential. I wish you fruitful meetings in our beautiful islands of Rhodes and Halki. Well, thank you very much, uh, Minister.